Good morning, dear friends. Here we are broadcasting to you from the Spirit Society of Richmond in Richmond, Virginia, with our friends from the Eastern Shore of Virginia, from the Spiritist Group in Newport News, Norfolk, and Hampton Roads. And here we are together, as always, with you here from um, live or on demand. And we are here also with our friends from the spiritual realm. So we want to start 2021, a wonderful year for us to start, the start of a new decade together with a prayer and best, best wishes for your year. And as always, I'm never alone, so I'm going to start inviting our friends to join us. Here we have first Nina. Hi, Nina, how are you? Hi, and we hi. have our friend Eric to join us as well. Hey, Eric, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Good. Happy New Year. Happy New Happy Year. New Year. And last but not least, our friend Evelyn. How are you, Evelyn? Thanks for joining us. Hi, I'm doing good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. It's a beautiful way for us to celebrate with the folks who are watching us and together. They start of a new decade. And we have to kick up, kickstart our short conversation or long conversation, a conversation for 2021. Eric is going to read a message from the book, Vida e Caminho, Life and the Pathway, if I were to translate it titled Letter for the New Year, and this message is from the Spirit Emmanuel, and the medium is Francisco Cândido Xavier. The floor is yours, Eric. The new year is also the renewal of our opportunity to learn, work, and serve. Remember that the year that returns is a new day calling you to fulfillment of old promises, which you have not yet had the courage to accomplish. If you have an enemy, make the hours reborn the path of reconciliation. If you are offended, forgive, so that love lightens the road for you forming. If you rested too much, go back to plowing your obligations and plant the good with fearlessness for the harvest of the future. New year, new day. Smile for those who hurt you and seek harmony with those who hurt you have not understood until now. Remember that there is more ignorance than evil around your destiny. Don't speak ill or condemn. Help to turn on some light for those who pass by your side in restlessness of darkness. Cultivate good cheer for those who visit you dominated by the cold disenchantment or indifference. Do not forget that Jesus never despairs with us and as hidden by our side, patient and kind, repeats us hourly. Always love and help, help others, supporting yourself because if the day returns tomorrow, I'm with you, waiting for the sweet joy from the open door of your heart. Thank you so much, Eric, for that beautiful message. And thank you for Emmanuel and our dear Chico Xavier for bringing us these beautiful teachings. And we have asked each one of us, and then we have planned for each one of us to share some thoughts about the year that has passed us. 2020 has been a challenging year for everybody, but we have always come to reflect on the year that has passed and wishes for 2021. So we're going to take just turns sharing with our viewers and listeners, if you're listening to us, our wishes for 2021. We'll start with our friend Nina from the Spiritist Group in Hampton Roads. I'm praying and um, hoping that 2021 will be a better year for all of us. And uh, I'm praying for those souls that have discarnated and the ones that are 
uh, going through a rough time in the hospitals and with sickness. I want to say that I'm wishing them all a better 2021 and that our spiritual guides, guides accompany us throughout this year. Thank you, Nina, for that for those wishes. And we'll have Eric share with us his reflections and his wishes for 2021. Well, 2020 um, showed me uh, especially how much we are social creatures and depend upon each other. Um, and it showed me how much our beliefs matter in how we see the world and also how we act in the world. For 2021, I am wishing you peace and love, health, kindness, and hard work in 2021. Thank you, Eric. And then now we want to move to our friend, Evelyn. All right. So yes, uh, this year uh, was hard. And I think one big lesson was that um, we're capable of adapting. The other day I read a quote that was like, we have survived 100% of our hard days. <laughs> so uh, we are as difficult as it was. Um, we, we did adapt. Um, at least personally, like I learned to, you know, review my priorities and focus on, on what is really relevant. And I hope for all of us, uh, 2021, that we are able to have patience and, you know, wait for <laughs> things to happen. I think we're all eager, like, let's turn this page. Um, but I think still things will be like changing slowly. And it's always, uh, always hard to wait, but, you know, God has a plan and we just need to sit tight <laughs> and go with it. That is good. Thank you, Evelyn. And then I will share as well. And then reflecting on 2020 being challenging for everybody, but we have, uh, persevered and we have adapted, we have learned, we have accelerated um, many different processes and procedures. See, we are, we used to be meeting online, now we're sharing all the teachings that we can and receiving the teachings from many different places and spiritual societies that we weren't, um, we didn't have access to before because we had to physically go there to be, and now we have been pushed to a new level of solidarity and sharing and sharing, everybody sharing the good and also sharing the difficulty. So we are all in the same boat and the boat is led by Christ. Christ is at the helm. So even though it's difficult and in difficult levels for everybody, I believe that we have grown um, in both realms. We have improved we have been reevaluating our values as people, and we have come out the other way. For 2021, I hope that we can continue to reach out to those who are in need, not only physical needs, but also emotional, psychological, mental, and spiritual needs. And we are very blessed to have a group of people who have uh, joined us to study and to learn together. So in 2021, I hope that we can continue to connect with one another here uh, in Virginia and beyond our state in the United States and, and in other countries, and that everybody can be together in spreading the good news and growing as living the, the true laws of the law of society to being together and helping one another. And those are my wishes for 2021. Put everybody together as we always do in the beginning of the end of our short service today for everybody would be to say a prayer. And then when we pray together, um, we will recommend that everybody 
close their eyes if it's safe for them to do so if they're not taking care of loved ones little ones big ones driving so on and so forth we also recommend that everybody has their water with them be it a, a large or a small water it's always good to have backups so you can drink the water throughout the day and then we repeat the words of the prayer um, so that we can have one petition for 2021 shall we pray Dear Mother, Father God, we thank you for all that you have provided us throughout time. We thank you for creating us and giving us the opportunity of learning and of service. We thank you for all the resources that you give us each and every day. We thank you for the love and kindness that we can feel in our daily lives. We thank you for the help that we receive from the visible and invisible hands that accompany us. We thank our mentors for guiding us through 2020. And we pray that in the new year, with the start of a new decade, we can continue to connect with them daily and hourly, listening to their counsels and learning with them. We thank you, dear God, for everyone that you have put in our lives, for all that we have met and the brothers and sisters we are still yet to know. And we pray for all of them we pray for our family members. We pray for our friends. We pray for our co-workers. And we pray for all of our neighbors and all of those in our communities. We pray for all of humankind in both realms of life. We pray for the physicians, for the nurses and therapists that care for us in the physical realm, in the physical hospitals and nursing homes, in our homes and beyond, but also for the millions of workers of the good in the spiritual realm that care for us. They care for us during our daily lives, inspiring and helping us, and they take care of us when we are asleep. And we pray that their spiritual aid missions can continue, helping all of those who suffer. May it be of illnesses of the body, or of the soul and we pray for all on the earth who may be in a refugee camp who may be in an orphanage who may be homeless or may be suffering in their homes and we pray for those in hospitals those who are being healed and all of those who are also transitioning to the spiritual realm we pray that we can be of aid to them praying sending vibrations of love and kindness as we all are in need of help today. We pray for a hopeful 2021 and we pray that all of the knowledge we have acquired and the ideas we have can transform into actions and works of the good everywhere we go, in our homes and neighborhoods and beyond. May you, dear God, inspire us not only to spread the good news of the Master, but to also feel their, His teachings with us and to transform those teachings into actions in our lives. We hope that everyone have a nice and wonderful 2021 and that we can all be together growing in love and kindness towards one another. With your permission, asking for your protection, God, we end our service today. And so be it. Dear friends, thank you so much for being here today. My wishes of a great 2021 and my gratitude to all of you for all the work that you do here with us.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.